Plastic is everywhere. It's in our homes, on our streets, and sadly, out in nature too. But you know, what really makes plastic such a big problem? Plastic is not like an apple or a leaf. When we throw it away, well, it doesn't just disappear. It doesn't break down like food or paper does. Plastic can take hundreds of years to decompose. That means every single piece of plastic ever made still exists somewhere, maybe in landfills, in rivers, or out in the ocean. That's why we say plastic is non-biodegradable. And honestly, that's why it's a big part of global pollution. Let's look at a few places where plastic waste is a daily problem. In Delhi, India, trash mountains like Ghazipur rise higher than buildings. In Dhaka, Bangladesh, streets and rivers overflow with plastic waste. Karachi, Pakistan has open dumps where plastic burns, filling the air with toxic smoke. Onitsha, Nigeria is known as one of the most polluted cities in Africa. And in Nairobi, Kenya, especially in Dandora, families live and work near giant garbage sites. Every day, tons of plastic are added to the pile and honestly, very little of it ever disappears. Some plastic travels far from cities. Wind and rain carry it to rivers, and rivers carry it to the sea. In the middle of the Pacific Ocean, there is a place where plastic collects, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's a floating island of over 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic. It's bigger than France. Fish, turtles, and birds mistake it for food, and sadly, many die. Imagine a vast expanse of blue, our ocean teeming with life. Now picture a shadow lurking beneath the surface, a sprawling mass of plastic debris. This is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a stark reminder of humanity's impact on our planet. Located between California and Hawaii, this swirling vortex of trash is double the size of Texas, a sobering testament to our addiction to plastic. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is not an island of solid garbage as some might imagine. Instead, it's a soup of plastic, a mixture of large and small debris, from fishing nets to tiny microplastics. These fragments of our plastic consumption have made their way into our oceans, where they are trapped by swirling currents. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is formed by a natural phenomenon known as ocean gyres. These rotating currents act like giant whirlpools, drawing in debris from across the North Pacific. Plastic, being buoyant and durable, can persist in this environment for decades, breaking down into smaller and smaller pieces but never truly disappearing. Every year, millions of tons of plastic enter our oceans from rivers, coastlines, and ships. This constant influx of debris means the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is growing at an alarming rate. Scientists estimate it now contains over 79,000 metric tons of plastic, a stark reminder of our throwaway culture. The enormity of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch may seem daunting, but there is hope. Innovative minds and dedicated organizations are developing and deploying technologies to tackle this environmental challenge. One such organization is the Ocean Cleanup, a Dutch nonprofit on a mission to rid our oceans of plastic. The Ocean Cleanup System 03, deployed in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, is a testament to human ingenuity. This system utilizes two vessels towing a large U-shaped barrier that acts like an artificial coastline, corralling the plastic. As the system moves through the water, the plastic is funneled into a collection zone where it's extracted, brought back to shore, and prepared for recycling. The ocean cleanup's efforts have already made a tangible difference, removing hundreds of tons of plastic from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. While the challenge is immense, their success offers a beacon of hope. With continued innovation and global collaboration, we can clean up this plastic soup. The fight against ocean plastic requires a multi-pronged approach. Reducing our reliance on single-use plastics, improving waste management systems, and supporting organizations like the Ocean Cleanup are all crucial steps. The future of our oceans depends on our actions today. Let's ride this wave of hope and create a cleaner, healthier future for our planet and all its inhabitants. Plastic pollution won't stop on its own. It starts with us. Let's protect our cities, our oceans, and our future.